The following is a special tag team attraction match scheduled for one fall, your referee, Tom Dunn. Valentino lost to Andrew Palos a month ago at the Battle of the Beards, and he was upset that uh, the fans were laughing at him. He felt disrespected, and he also felt disrespected that we were inviting stars of Chikara Pro Wrestling here to turn us all this month, or as Valentino called it, Jimmy Chango Pro Wrestling. And as a result, Valentino went out and he recruited 6 foot 4, 260 plus pounds of Wardlow. This guy is a beast. And Valentino, even though he's always been a little goofy or nutty, he's pretty scary when he's got Wardlow by his side. Everyone's pretty scary if you got Wardlow by his side. He's the man with more in his face. Hey! I watched look, him break a ring. Look, I brought this guy here, not for you people to gawk at. I brought him here to do some business. We got some business to attend to because last month I was disrespected and I'll be disrespected no more. So I'm gonna put everybody back there on notice. This man is six foot four, 260 pounds. He's bigger than everybody here. Bigger than everybody here. So whoever they dug up from Chimichanga Pro Wrestling to come out here and deal with me and this man, just go ahead and bring them out. Because they don't stand a chance. No, they don't. I don't know why you're cheering. You might as well pack it up and go home. Battlefield didn't even think we needed to have a match. They're not going to stay here. He's going to kill him, and then everybody out here. I mean, it's considerate of him. The Wardlow's going to kill him and everyone out here. Valentino just threatened Ultra Mega Mass Homicide. Ultra Mega Mass Homicide. Well, check out this ovation. I think uh, the fans want to see somebody give Valentino what's coming to him. At a combined height of 11 feet, 8 inches, coming out of the Chicago Wrestle Factory, by way of Cleveland, Ohio, here's Chuck Kick Dave and Uppercut Ulysses. Fine height, Jay Worth, not often you hear that. That's a uh, staple of Chuck Kick Dave. Excuse me. the uh, combined height there, combined height. I believe that's Chuck Kick Dave. Oh no, I'm sorry, you're saying. I believe that's Drop Kick Dave in the blue. Uppercut Ulysses in the uh, silver ring. Silver black. A couple, a couple of young kids out of the Chikara Wrestle Factory looking to prove themselves. It seems like they've uh, amassed a very uh, 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 vocal cheering section in a short amount of time. You may not know this, but the uh, symbols on each of their masks. Uh, it's, it smells out Chimmy and Chonga. That's, I don't think that's accurate. No, no, no. Uh, the, the, Nikki Valentino told me. I don't think there's a Japanese symbol for Chimmy. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're on the blue there. Let alone Chonga. Well, that, that's in the silver and black. There, there's the bell. And uh, you may not know this, but I am a polyglot. I don't even know what that means. It means I can speak multiple languages. So you can Google that. Wouldn't it be polyrhythm? No, I probably do want to make it. Expletive. Found how to feel controlling the wrist lock as Farnsworth, I think, is dealing with a hairball currently. I think it's Dropkick David. Yeah, yeah, you said that was Dropkick David. Valentina with the drop toe hold. The Dropkick David. You got it. Nice wizard, a couple slaps to the back of the head. Valentino, believe it or not, and if you don't know him well, you wouldn't believe this. He's got amateur credentials. He can he can wrestle on the ground. Side headlock. Nice. nice uh, I was gonna say nice tight side headlock. Yeah. Wide stance has his base. 
Valentino, ever uh, eclectic and colorful. Able to pick up a tackle. It's mostly blue. I don't know that it's all that colorful. There's a little bit of green. And uh, Dave taking down Valentino. Nice drop kick. Another nice drop kick. Must be how he got the name. I, I mean, it seems like uh, seems like you'd want to be able to do a good drop kick if your name was Drop Kick Dave. One would think. Yeah, well, you'd figure they'd start teaching it to you pretty young. Look at this. Uppercut to a little bit of a schoolboy. By Uppercut Ulysses. Yeah. Ulysses covers now. Big uppercut chant going out here in Cleveland. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. That's because he paid all of them. Yeah, it's not the case. Yeah, he gave them all a Ulysses Grant. He walked into that one. Well, Valentino oh. walked into that uppercut. <laughs> Another one. Again, if, you, if your opponent's name is Ulysses Uppercut, maybe avoid the uppercuts, Nick. Into a cover. Two count only. Valentino not doing well for himself here to uh, to uh, make good on being laughed at a month ago, is he? I'm just saying if I took the time to go and find someone of the stature, of the domination, of the ability of a man like Wardlow, maybe I'd let him stay in the ring. You know. Look at this. Drop kicks and up, uppercuts everywhere. That's some fancy chimichanga type stuff right there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nice clothesline. That's not in anybody's name, but it's effective. Dave covers. Can you imagine if Valentino had gotten pinned before Wardlow even got tagged in? I honestly can't imagine it, so, sadly. <laughs> well, we've seen Valentino have a misstep or two, is all I'm saying. Yeah, he's uh, sometimes his own worst enemy over the years. A little naive sometimes. A little delusional. A little fans chanting for Dave. Big Dave crowd here tonight? Big Dave cheering section, yes. Oh, here comes Wardlow. Things are going to... The mood's going to change when Wardlow gets in there. 6'4", 260. I don't even think Wardlow... I mean, he's wearing a singlet. I don't even think he fits into it. That's how big he is. He gets in the bottom half. The top half of this detail is... Drop kick by drop kick Dave, but can't take Wardlow down. He was expertly controlling Valentino with these, but Wardlow, he's barely moving. Got him to a knee that time after three of them. But Wardlow, oh, look out. Oh. Offensive explosion. Wardlow in the belly to belly relief. Wardlow's not amused. No, no, no. Well, I mean, he might be. It's just oh. he shows it different than everyone else. Yeah, Wardlow's never really appeared to me. Wardlow's just shut the door on dropkick day. I'm just saying, if I'm dropkick Dave, I'm worried right now that if Wardlow beats me, uh, based upon his size, he may decide to eat me after. Wardlow showing his quickness. You wouldn't expect a guy that size to move that quickly into the corner. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Valentino is going to do his own maneuvering. Again, you wouldn't expect a guy that size to move that quickly into the corner. Ooh. Hard boot. This could do it here. Cover to Endo. This is Wardlow's PCW debut, as is Dave and Ulysses. I was going to say, that big boot almost knocked that chimney off his face. Uh, that, as I said, I've seen Wardlow uh, in other areas, <laughs> and you want to talk about strength, I watched him rip the, ro the uh, top rope off a ring once. On accident, right? He didn't, he didn't even know it was on strength. Well, I mean, he, he had hold of it, and he was shaking the rope. Uh, a la the ultimate warrior and just tore the the rope off phantom audio tag from valentino to wardlow after a great textbook russian leg sweep float over by valentino a moment ago uh but yeah i don't think wardlow really even understands how powerful wardlow is at this point and uh, once he's in tune with that man he may be unstoppable if he's not already i mean i don't know that he needs to know it i mean he knows he's big enough you know, like literally holding Dropkick Dave up with zero arms. Two and no. Just resting Dave on his shoulder. It's sort of like once you have a hundred million dollars, does it matter if you have a billion? I mean, you know you have enough money to get through the rest of your life. It, same with Wardlow. He knows he has the size and the strength. He figures 
he knows he has enough to get where he's going in this industry. Uh, if he has even more, great. It doesn't necessarily mean that he needs it. Well, Dropkick Dave's in the bad part of town now in the uh, enemy territory. Effortless pickup by Ward. Body slam. Big knee by Nicky Valentino. Valentino proud of himself. Oh, little push in? Little no push in. Let the ladies know what he brings to the table. Does Valentino like think that him and Wardlow are like have the same physique? They're both like muscle guys. Valentino's parading around showing off his power more than Wardlow is. I would say that Valentino views this as as him looking in a mirror. Oh God! Like Wardlow probably has a slightly better haircut. That doesn't surprise me, knowing Valentino. Oh, the big pickup. Valentino uh, desperately trying to sit at the cool kids' table, in my estimation. To be that as it may, he's got Dropkick Dave elevated. Crowd coming alive. The, the Dropkick Dave section. He's doing the Dropkick Dave chance. And Valentino. Oh, Dropkick Dave found an opening. And Dropkick Dave found a Dropkick. The wonders never cease. But Dave needs to find Ulysses. He needs a tag badly. He got him. Go. Here comes Uppercut. And Uppercut, smart, does not let Wardlow get the tag. Uppercut. Keeps Valentino uppercut. in the ring. Uppercut. Running. No knee. Running knee. And a kick. Nice DDT. Ulysses, oh, maybe that's a rookie mistake not going for the cover. Oh, hello. Can he run through Wardlow as he did old school muscle? I don't know that it's going to be that easy. Uppercut. Wardlow barely flinches. Uppercut. I got him that time, but... But not enough to even make him take a knee. He's got him dazed. Oh, I got him angry. Springboard uppercut got him. And Wardlow down. You don't see that very often. First time we've seen it this match. And a tag to Dave. Oh, we saw this earlier. The backslide assisted, not a drop kick into a Hurricane Rana. It's taking two of them, but they're neutralizing Wardlow. <laughs> that sounds about right as far as the exchange rate goes. And Valentino out on his feet. Uppercut. Drop kick. Uppercut. Drop, drop kick. kick. I feel like a video game commentary track at this point. But it's working. Guess what happened? Uppercut and drop kick. And Valentino. Dance with who brought you? Yeah. Uppercut. Drop kick did it up. And drop uppercut kick. did a drop kick. What? It's all breaking down. It's all discombobulated. Oh, no, Wardlow from behind. And Wardlow just came in and Wardlowed everybody. Yeah. Fireman's carry. Oh. oh. Dave tried to interrupt. Ulysses dropped that Fireman's carry driver. Fun and games are over, says Wardlow. I don't know that the fun and games ever really began with Wardlow. Look at Valentino. Got the kick. Fireman's carry driver again. Wardlow connects, Valentino gets the cover, he's still legal, and Valentino and Wardlow with a victory. Here are your winners, the team of Wardlow and Nikki Valentino! Jay Worth, your impressions on all these very contrasting personalities. Wardlow's a giant monster of a man. Nikki Valentino was smart enough to find a giant monster of a man. As for uh, Dropkick Dave and Uppercut Ulysses, uh, a great showing uh, and apparently really well named. Uh, I don't think they need to sh feel any shame when they return to the locker room at Jimmy John. Amazing impact, and here you see the two muscle guys, Wardlow and Valentino, they had a tougher test than maybe they'll ever admit to us publicly. Valentino and Wardlow look good in their first tag team appearance together. Dave and Ulysses, man, they became cult heroes in just a matter of one night. 
Wardlow and Valentino. Man, they're the guys I'm not sure about. 